Tanner Larson. I'm the CEO of Build, Grow, Scale, and this video is the first in a vlog series of videos that I'll be doing for all you awesome peeps over at fulfillment.com. Now, I've got a ton of cool training and education and you know tips and tricks and all kinds of stuff to share with you guys, but this video is going to be kind of a intro, quick, who are we, why should we listen to you, and maybe if you should listen to me kind of thing first, okay? So while bragging about how awesome we are and how cool we are over at BGS and how just amazing we are, I promise to also share some pretty cool tips and tricks along the way that'll make this video valuable for you and make sure you get something cool out of it, all right? Now, again, my name is Tanner Larson. I'm the CEO of Build, Grow, Scale, and I've been doing direct response style e-commerce stores, funnels, things like that since early 2001, okay? I'm basically a dinosaur in the world of online marketing and e-commerce. There's, you know, very few people out there that are been, have been doing it longer than I have and this kind of stuff. And that makes me an old man, right? But at the same time, I also learned a few things. I learned all the crazy stuff not to do. I did everything wrong. But along the way, I also learned a few things that worked really, really well, all right? And I also wrote a book. I wrote The E-Commerce Evolved. This has basically become the Bible of e-commerce books out there. I wrote this in 2016 and it's still as true now as it was then. We've also learned some really cool stuff since then, but this book is awesome. So if you need a way to put yourself to sleep at night, highly recommend you read it or get it because it'll definitely put you to sleep. And then if it doesn't, you can always you know, use it as a doorstop or something to whack you on the side of the head and to really knock yourself out. All right. Now, with that book, okay, that kind of set the stage for what we do at Build, Grow, Scale. Now, what do we do exactly, all right? Well, we do this thing called data-driven e-commerce, okay? Now, that doesn't really mean much. We're a data-driven optimization company. That really doesn't mean much, okay? But what we do is we focus on taking stores that are good and making them great. We can start with stores that are a little bit less, but our, our real you know, special zone is taking a good store and scaling them to be great, okay? Now, the way we do that is by making data-backed decisions, okay? So we analyze and interpret all the data that these stores have. Most of these stores don't even realize they have this data or how to use it. They may collect it, but they don't know what to do with it, right? Well, that's where we come in. We make sure they're collecting it the right way, that the data is accurate, and then we make all kinds of data-backed decisions using that data, okay? Now, to do this, it's not just me. It's not just my partner, Matt. We actually have 12 full-time revenue optimization experts that were all internally trained by us that do nothing but analyze data all day long, make interpretations, run split tests on all these different sites, okay? We also have 18 full-time developers, a combination of front-end, back-end, you know, GA, and all these other different kinds of developers that we have and programmers that but combined with our RO staff, their entire job is to work across a network of 12 sites running split tests and crazy tests on, on like, page layouts and functionality, user testing, all this different stuff, all to basically help us dial into these stores, and of, of which we have basically a network of over two dozen eight-figure, almost one almost nine-figure stores that are all, you know, leveraging our team to manage their data, figure out the optimizations using that data, interpret the data, and then create wins and stuff along the way. Now, as a result of that, you know, we have roughly a thousand man hours a week Okay, a thousand man hours a week of nothing but revenue optimization, data interpretation to make data back decisions. The amount of data that we collect off of our stores in one week is more accurate and usable data than a normal store would probably ever accumulate in a lifetime. And even if they did accumulate it, most of them wouldn't know what to do with it, all right? Now, the result of this is that we've kind of become, and by we, I mean build, grow, scale, has become the 800-pound gorilla in the e-commerce optimization space. And we work with some of the biggest clients in the world, including Guthy Ranker, Men's Health, Discovery Channel, Scientific American, Wild Turkey Whiskey, and more. Okay, a lot of these bigger brands, we look with the smaller brands too, but the big guys come to us as well because we're really the only ones who are any good at this, okay, and really the only ones doing it right. Now, the secret sauce that we have that makes BGS so special and that all of our ROs spend all the time doing is a process that we developed called revenue optimization. Now, when I say revenue optimization, what people actually hear and what they think about is conversion rate optimization, all right? Now, Conversion rate optimization, while similar, tends to really focus on, like the name says, the conversion rate, okay? And now conversion rates, they're important, but it's not a real truly telling metric. And when you focus on CRO and the conversion rate becomes the all-important metric that you're trying to, to optimize for, you get this kind of tunnel vision and you don't see anything outside of this tunnel, okay? But it's everything out here that's where the magic happens, okay? This is where 
all the really important stuff happens in a business. It's outside of that tunnel vision. So revenue optimization is a systematic process for optimizing the entire customer journey. Okay, they land on the site. They browse the site, they make the sale, and then they continue on into the back end. Okay, we, re we optimize the entire process from start to finish, end to end, okay? And it's all about presenting the right information to the user at the right time, and only the right information, okay? Because too often, people focus on what they think is delivering all the information or the right information, but it's actually the wrong information, and they present it at the wrong time, which creates roadblocks, which creates disconnects, and anytime there's a disconnect or a roadblock in a site or the buying journey, you create exit points where people bounce or leave and you know just disappear from your site. So our job as revenue optimization experts is to smooth that road out so it's a nice, smooth racetrack and allows your business to pick up speed and grow crazy fast, right? So why is revenue optimization magic? I, ta I told you how it's our process. We coined the term, all that stuff, but why does it really matter? Okay. Well, the best way I can describe it is to talk about something completely unrelated. <laughs> right? So this author, Gary Keller, he wrote a book called The One Thing. He's one of my favorite authors. I specifically love this book, The One Thing. Now, the book really is just about the simple truth behind extraordinary results, okay? And how everything in life really falls under this, these principles, okay? And it boils, the book itself, and, he, and Gary specifically, boils this book down to what's the one thing that you can do such that by doing it, everything else in your life or around that result becomes easier, okay? So what's the one thing you can focus on that makes everything else easier? Now, in fitness and health, People go to the gym, they work out, they diet, they, or they try to diet, they do fad diets, they buy pills, they do all this thing. But they really focus on, even they focus on new workout clothes or the newest workout routine and cardio, high interval training, all these things, right? But when it comes to health and fitness, the one thing that makes everything else better and creates that chain reaction of awesomeness is diet. But nobody wants to focus on diet because diet's hard. Now in e-commerce, revenue optimization is the one thing. Everything, your traffic, your sales, your retention, supply chains, growth and scale, all of it becomes easier when you focus on just revenue optimization. People go, oh, I got a traffic problem. I just need more traffic. No, you have a revenue optimization problem because you can't afford to buy all the traffic that's already out there. Okay, traffic's not your problem. The problem's on your site. Okay, it's what happens after the click. So an example. All right, we see thousands and thousands and thousands of brands and different e-commerce stores every single year on all kinds of platforms. They're not all Shopify, just all over the place. Now, everyone, like I said, thinks they have a traffic problem. If I could just get more traffic, if I could just get my ads to perform better, everything would be better, okay? But the reality of that is you're probably already better at traffic generation than you need to be because you're working with a broken uh, buying process that may, is not optimized, and if you're able to get that to work with the traffic you're already doing, you're way better at traffic than you truly need to be. There is an infinite amount of traffic out there, but trying to hyper-optimize or over-optimize, almost like micromanage your traffic, is what you're trying to do, okay? And that's not helping, all right? Because the problem isn't getting the click. You can get the click. The problem is converting that click into a sale. That's where your problem is. Your problem is in the buyer's journey, what happens after the click. Once they land on your site to the time they leave your site, that's where you're failing, okay? And the real issue is that what needs to be focused on is not traffic. If you focus on everything that happens after the click first, traffic becomes easy. It's a non-issue. You can buy all the traffic that you want if you focus on optimizing what happens after the click first. Now, let me give you a visual to drive this home, okay? This is, I always do better with visuals. So, think of your e-commerce business as a bucket, okay? So, this metal bucket right here. Now, think of the traffic that, that comes into your bucket as water. So, we're filling up, we got our bucket here, we're filling up our bucket with water coming out of the hose, right? So, all the traffic that, that, that you're sending to your site is coming out of this hose into the bucket. Now, the water that stays inside the bucket, those are your sales. The water that falls out, that's your lost sales, okay? Now, in a perfect world, we turn on the hose, keep opening it up, and the bucket fills up, and we just keep pouring more water into it, and hopefully we can just keep getting a bigger bucket, right? It's not how the world works, right? It's not reality. In the real world, the way reality works is that your bucket, your business, is full of holes. It's like Swiss cheese, all right? Holes of things are like bounce rate, browse abandons, cart abandon, mobile issues, browser segments, underperforming pages, tech stack issues, lack of clarity, and about a dozen other issues, okay? 
every single leak reduces the amount of water that stays in your bucket, right? You got a bucket and you can poke all these holes in it, okay? You're still pouring traffic into it. But as you're pouring traffic into it, all this water, it, lost sales is pouring out of the bucket and the sales, the water that stays in the bucket keeps dropping, okay? So what most people do, instead of fixing the bucket and sealing all the leaks, they don't do that, right? You don't do that. What you do, instead of fixing it, is you try to turn up the flow. You're like, okay, let's switch from a garden hose to a fire hose. Let's turn up the traffic, thinking that it will fill up the bucket faster than your, your bucket can leak, okay? And you're, I'll just get more sales. That'll solve it. I'll just get more traffic. Well, the problem is that's not how it works. It's the opposite that occurs, okay? Just like in the real world, when you have a hole in something, or erosion happens, things like that, right? The more force, more pressure, the more water you put into the bucket, the holes just get bigger. The more traffic you get to your store, the bigger the leaks get and the more money you ultimately lose. Whereas with revenue optimization, you actually will stop those leaks. You fix those leaks so that your bucket, now they're never going to be a perfect bucket, but the idea is to patch it as, mo as much as possible and seal it up so that you keep more sales and lose less, right? So if you focus we're on revenue optimization, well, that stops the leak. So you focus on patching those leaks so more sales stay in the bucket, right? Beat that dead horse enough, right? Okay, now the magic of doing this is without spending any more money on traffic than you already do. Your, and your ad spend stays the same, but you will make exponentially more money simply by focusing on revenue optimization and patching the leaks. That means more money from the exact same traffic you're already paying for, okay? No increase in ad spend. Now, most of our clients, honestly, they double or triple their revenue within 90 days of switching their focus from this tunnel vision or this, I got to get more traffic focus to just revenue optimization. So double or triple their revenue within 90 days from just switching to the focus, making the one thing they focus on revenue optimization. And that's all without massively scaling their ad spend. All right. Now to wrap this up, I don't want to keep making this video any longer than it needs to be, right? The secret behind being able to scale a business is maximizing revenue so that you have the cash on hand to scale. Now, we've all heard the saying, right? He who can spend the most to acquire a customer wins, right? If you can outspend your competitor, doesn't mean you have to, but the ability to means you can go out there and buy more traffic that other people can't afford because your site, your store is optimized, all right? It's 100% true. This is true. No fluff. But the way to do that, the way to be able to actually afford that more expensive traffic is by using revenue optimization to first stop your business from losing and bleeding money. All right, so I encourage you, take a step back, start looking for areas in your business where you're currently leaking instead of looking for ways to keep bumping up ad spend. Fix the leaks first, the ad spend will take care of itself. I promise you that. Now guys, I've got a lot more training promised and prepared for you guys. I've got a whole bunch of videos I'm gonna make for you. Justin and I have been talking, we know what we're gonna map out for you guys, but this was just a real quick intro to get things going. The new videos that I'll shoot for you guys are gonna help you implement revenue optimization in your business. But for now, let's wrap this intro up. I hope you enjoyed this little video. My name is Tanner Larson. I really enjoyed talking to you today and I'll see you in the next video.